Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is not going to be an Octavia video. It has been about a year since we moved into our house and I know when I first did our home tour that I told you I'm definitely going to do a furnished updated home tour once we've moved in. That didn't happen. Since we just passed our one year anniversary I figured this was as good a time as any and let's get started because all you can hear is all this stuff going on behind us. There's a preschool being built and a gas station being built right behind our house. So let's get started. Welcome to the Sarvis household. As you can see, this is what we use for our deliveries because the dogs get super ticked off. And of course, you know, we have an almost four month old baby, actually four months old tomorrow. This was made by my mom. Did you know the FedEx guy still rang the doorbell yesterday? Did he really? Yes. Did he sign up? Apparently not. Okay. So welcome, welcome, welcome. You're probably gonna see dogs running around in this video. I'm probably too close, but that's okay. So if you remember, right when you walk in, to the left was the office that was mine. Obviously, this has changed a little bit. Now that I've opened my second business, I need a little bit more space. Robbie needed it more dark in his area, and this just works better. This is now Robbie's office. As you can see, it's filled with IT stuff. I don't understand half of the stuff that's in here. Maybe the printer, and that's about it. He has a green screen for work because he's still working from home. So this has become his office. Do you want to say anything about your office? It's still too light in here. That window up there that needs a curtain on it. We were supposed to get blinds for that. That Probably was one of the good. first things we talked about when we moved in. It's still not done. So my piano is still in here. I'm no longer teaching at this point. It's still not safe to bring other people into our home. I don't think at least. Um, and so we just, I've kind of ceased doing my voice lessons, so this is, and we're not taking this upstairs, this is not going upstairs, so this is going to stay downstairs. So if I ever start teaching voice lessons again, they'll be taught in Robbie's office. Let's keep going. Now, oh, one thing that I did want to mention, this is a lived-in house tour. Like I said, we have a four-month-old daughter tomorrow, and so there is baby stuff everywhere. You may notice that there's a burp cloth in every single room. So we tried to make it perfect for you guys, but also that would make it look like it wasn't lived in. And we love our house and we're here 24 seven. So just keep that in mind and don't judge too much. This is our living room. Last time you we were here, we had just bought our couches. They weren't even here yet. We had just bought our furniture. We've had it for a year now, still going strong. My mom helped us decorate the entire place. So as you can see, I have a collage wall. Thank you. This used to be in our old house, but of course we changed it up a little bit for our new house. As you can see, we've got Avery's car seat. We also have a little surprise that's going to go up in Avery's room that we haven't gotten put up yet. So I'll have to show that once that's done, but that will not be in today's video. We've got Avery's toy car. We've got Avery's toy mat. <laughs> this is our dining room slash kitchen area. Uh, that's about it. I mean, what else are you supposed to say about a dining room slash kitchen area? I guess I could turn the lights on. Uh, I like having the open kitchen. I like having the ability to have someone sitting at the table while I'm cooking so we can still carry on a conversation. This is Avery's rocking chair. It goes on the table so that when Robbie and I are eating dinner together, we don't have to have her on the floor. She can be a part of the conversation. Don't worry, nobody freak out. It has a stopper right here that we put down so that it's not gonna go anywhere. It can't go backwards, can't go forwards. And most of the time she just lays here and kicks and plays while we eat and we have a good little family dinner together. This is our kitchen. It looks completely different from when we first moved in because now we have bottle stuff everywhere, coffee stuff everywhere. Yeah, but it's the kitchen. We ended up having to get a new refrigerator. <laughs> we had an old refrigerator that looked like this. But we had to get a new refrigerator because what was it like two weeks before Avery was born? Maybe two and a half weeks before Avery was born, ours completely went kaput. So we had to buy a new refrigerator, but we love it. They actually gave it to us for a really good price too, because I was pregnant. This is our laundry room. We're not gonna give you too much of a look in here. It's also doubles as our pantry. It needs to be organized, but this is our laundry room slash pantry. Behind this door, as you can see, we have a refrigerator in here as well. That serves really well for drinks and anything that I need to put in the freezer that I'm not gonna use that week. So, let's go this way. Down this hallway, we've got a half bathroom. Nothing special. I still need to, oh, see, as you, as you can see, lived in. We just did a project, so there's still paintbrushes that we just cleaned. But I still need to decorate this room, bathroom. I need to decorate this area. It's kind of blah, but I mean, I figure you spend the least amount of time in here, so it's okay. 
This is our closet. I'm gonna show this to you, but again, no judgment. We have basically no attic space in this house, which we didn't realize until we moved in. And we're now realizing that baby stuff takes up a lot of room. So this entire closet is probably 80% baby stuff. The rest of it is anything that has to do with holiday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. It's a coat closet which, with coats in it. Mm, but that's about the least of what's in there. So that's our little coat closet. I see all these things on TikTok. Of, let's go this way. I see all these things on TikTok of people who have organized these areas and it looks so beautiful. And I think to myself, I wish I could do that. And then I don't. So now we're going to head upstairs. But this is our bedroom. One of the things that I talked about in our first home tour was this wall. I love this wall. Right there, Robbie. There we go. I love this wall. This is our shiplap wall. Um, something that came with the... Hmm, very nice looking. Oh, Lord. You told me you didn't want to be seen because you weren't wearing jeans. Uh, that's fine. Anyway, so this came with the house. It was already done. We loved it. And originally, we had our bed on this wall. And it was nice. It was okay. And then, like what, in December or January, we decided to move it. To here and i love this a lot more i think we have a lot more usable space don't you think yeah and it just looks good because it's centered right in between the windows so the sign up above was something that we had from our duplex our old house and the sign below it was given to us by a very dear friend of ours at our wedding and it kind of ties in with our new bedspread that we have thank you robert as you can see over here to the right we have a bassinet that was used for like a week and a half. Avery was moved to her bedroom very quickly on. And so we have this halo bassinet. We tried to sell it mostly because we liked moving her to her room early on. Avery had acid reflux really badly. And so she grunted all night long. She could be totally asleep, but we would be awake all night listening to her grunting. So we moved her to her own room pretty quickly on, especially because the mattress in there was just a lot better than this one here. But we can't find anybody to buy our halo bassinet. So we don't know what we're going to do with it yet. So it just kind of sits here holds pillows, holds a bottle warmer, all kinds of stuff, you know? So anyway, also burp cloth right next to the Bible. You gotta have your essentials. If you turn to your left. Okay, so this wall is actually my favorite wall. This is a Mapiful map. It's a poster that I had framed. We were actually gifted by Mapiful this beautiful map. So as you can see, it says the music building down at the bottom. Robbie and I both met at the music building. That's kind of where our love started if you want to get really technical. This is the coordinates of where the music building is and this is Texas State because it's on the Texas State University campus. So this is something that I think is so so neat because it is so unique and personal to Robert and my story. Nobody else's story usually is going to be the same so nobody else's poster is the same. So I decided to get the map but they also have things like a zodiac star sign and they also have something where you can build a picture of yours out of words. So I really liked the blue. I was able to customize the color. I was able to customize what it said down here, all of this. And I think it looks really, really good in this room. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how simple it is to actually create your own Mapiful. As you can see, I'm just going to their website and at the very top of the page, it says design your own. On the side, it gives you all of your different options, but this is me designing mine, the one that was just in our bedroom. So I typed in the address to the university because there's not really a physical address to the music building, but then I could change anything I wanted to, as you'll see in a second. So then I changed the label. So instead of saying San Marcos, it said music building. And then instead of saying United States, I went ahead and put in Texas State. And then I think this was the coolest part for me, that I was able to change not only the names on it and the labels, but I could change the color. And there was a lot of different colors to choose from. But like I said, I really liked the blue, like the light blues. And then I thought it would look better in our room if it was in landscape. So that's how I created mine. It was super simple. And then like I'm gonna show you down here, they ship worldwide, but also it's free shipping worldwide, which is really nice and it's great quality. The other reason that I love this wall is because I've also put around the area where we met, where our love story started, some pictures from our relationship. So up here we have our engagement pictures. One of my favorites. Down here is our wedding picture, one of my favorites. To the right is a maternity picture that we took before Avery was born. And to the left is right after Avery was born in the hospital. 
So this is probably one of my favorite walls in the entire house. And I want to thank Mappaful so much for gifting us this beautiful piece to our bedroom and helping us transform this bedroom because truly this whole room is kind of centered around the colors and the look of this Mappaful. Okay, so this is our bathroom. We haven't really done much here either, except as you can see, we put a, is it called Valance? Yeah. Or Valance? I don't know. Robbie built that. Robbie and our best friend Josh built that. And I want to put some curtains on it and something up there, but I just absolutely love how cool that looks. And I think it ties in with the rest of the house, as you'll see in just a minute. Is that better? Not really. It's pretty bright from the window. It's It's okay. You can see it easier at nighttime. But... There we go. And then, of course, this is our bathroom. Lived in, lived in. I know I've said that a billion times. We have a pretty big closet, but right now it's got some laundry that I already folded and need to put away. Okay, let's go into the loft area. This is now my office and the loft. It used to be Robbie's office and the loft, but after we decided to move things around, I kind of took artistic liberties and completely redid this space up here and I love it. If you look to the right, Robbie and Josh also built this faux mantle. Is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to call it, but it's Faux mantle bookshelf thingy. Yes, so it holds our movies and DVDs and PlayStation games as well as books. And we have our new Alexa up here. And she's also she doesn't hear very well though, because even though I just said her name, she didn't come on. We have our old no, we have our old Alexa up here. Hey Alexa, have a great day. Thanks. You too. And then the new one is downstairs. So we have her up here, we have the PlayStation up here. This is kind of where Avery and I live during the day. That's my area and we'll go over that in just a second. But as you can see, we've got Avery's stuff here. She has a bird cloth, um, her mat, which she's kind of outgrowing. She likes to be sitting up now. So we have her bouncer. And as you probably didn't see in our room, but you may have her extra saucers also in our room. Robbie's gonna show you. Pretty cute, right? It's a, uh, I think it's Little Einstein or Baby Einstein Symphony. She really likes it. So um, we've also got her boppy over there and her bumbo, which she practice, practices sitting in. So this is kind of, really it's mostly her area. But if you come this way, it's my area. I've got my computers and stuff for working on my Optivia, for working on my videos. And then for my baby boutique, I've got my heat press, all my fabric, uh, well not all my fabric, but all my t-shirts and onesies. And then over here is every color you could ever want in bow fabric. So if you have a little girl, I have a friend who's having a little girl, need a baby gift for a little girl. Blue Eyed Baby Kill on Etsy. This is our guest bedroom. And our biggest thing, or my biggest thing when someone comes to stay with us is I want them to feel comfortable. So not only do they have the most comfortable bed in the house, I don't know, what brand is that bed, Robbie? Uh. Beauty Rest? I think so. I think it's called Beauty Rest, and it is seriously the best. When I was pregnant, I would come and sleep in here in the middle of the night when I would wake up because I, I was just so uncomfortable in our bed because this is so nice. And then because we decided that we loved being in the same room for the entire night, Robbie just moved this bed into our bedroom, and we both slept in separate beds. It was a mess, but it was so helpful on my back during that time. So not only do they have the best bed in the house, they have a TV with the direct TV. They have a very large mirror because my grandmother told me when she first came and stayed with me that you have to have a mirror in your guest bedroom, a mirror and a chair. We don't have a chair, but we do have a mirror. These are my backgrounds for when I take pictures for the Etsy shop. I've also used it, this one, for videos on my other channel, Simply Service, it's our family channel, and it's come in handy a lot. It gives my pictures and my videos a little je ne sais quoi. And then... Also built that too. He built that one, which as you can see, it matches the valance in our bathroom. And then this one we actually got from Home Depot and Robbie put a frame on it. So this is actually a, a plank, a plywood? No, it's like a... I don't know, it's that faux wood stuff. Yeah. And then we just built a, a frame to go on. Frame on it. There's a really simple side projects video. Well, Did I mention Robbie footage. on his own channel? Yeah, but there's only like three videos on it. There's a lot that he has to edit, but he's got a lot of them. Another thing that I like to do for the guests, I saw this on, I think, KK and Baby J's. They have like a little hospitality basket. So I have this for anybody who comes and stays in the guest bedroom. I stocked it full. My mom stayed with us for four weeks after the baby was born. 
It's got a razor, it's got a toothbrush, it's got um, allergy medicine, it's got Tylenol, it's got a whole bunch of different granola bars and snacks, and I just think that's a really cute little touch. It also has makeup wipes, because I always forget those when I'm traveling, so anyway. In that closet, we're not going to open it because it's a pain in the butt, but is a whole bunch of like video stuff and t-shirts for the Etsy shop. That concludes the guest bedroom. And here, this is Avery's bathroom. Nothing too, too special. Uh, it's also the guest bathroom, but we use it every single night to bathe Ave. So basically just has her bathtub in there and then her soap. And then this is really neat. If you have a baby or are having a baby, this is a knee pad for you and then an elbow pad. And Robbie bathes Avery. Do you think that's really helpful? I think it would be super helpful. I bathe there every once in a while. But that's kind of his job. He likes to bathe there and I think it's really, really useful. Funny story about our shower curtain. When we first moved in, I had this shower curtain that I've had for years. So it probably needed to go, but it was one of my favorites. So I was so excited because it goes with this sign up here which fun fact every time we hang the sign Robbie and I get into a fight and it says love on it it's a mess but anyway so Robbie put up our new shower curtain because the one here before was like about to fall apart so he puts up the new shower curtain and he puts up the or he puts up the new shower curtain rod and he puts up the new shower curtain and all of a sudden he's like uh Mallory you get to go shopping and I was like why what happened and I walk in here and the shower curtain because it's shorter was like above where the tub stops it was hilarious so we ended up buying a new shower curtain which is pretty similar to the old one but it works really well it works so the last room i really thought that she'd be awake by now to be honest with you this is avery's room we have a tour of avery's room on our channel already but some things have changed it's time for her to wake up and eat so we're gonna go ahead and go in here and you're gonna get to see the cuteness of avery waking up from her nap hopefully hopefully she's in a good mood um she's teething right now so this is her door sign that was made when she was born. So Avery Madeline, she was born on 4 11 20 at 12.50 p.m., 8 pounds, 0 ounces, and she was 20 inches long. And this is her room. I'm going to turn the light on. It'll help to wake her up. Okay, so this is her bookshelf. We covered it with even more books when we first did the room tour because she just gets books all the time we love to read. This has been super helpful. If you remember from the baby room tour that this is her changing table and it's extremely helpful. Um, we love this thing. Just keeping all of her nighttime stuff at the bottom, any kind of medicine, a hairbrush, or anything that she needs goes in the back. It's a little messy, it needs to be cleaned up, but it's okay. We have her, we keep some kind of laundry basket up here at all times and just switch them out because as you know babies go through a ton of laundry this chair has been awesome i mean i know we did a room tour when before she was born but now that we live in this room and we actually use this room i can tell you that this is amazing let me turn off that sound machine hi little miss oh so bright good morning <laughs> Avery, hi, good morning, oh so sleepy, oh my goodness so sleepy, you ready to wake up? Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? Have some crazy hail. <laughs> you want to explain how we love the chair? Um, it's a chair. It's comfy to sit in to feed her and rock her. We bought it for like close to nothing. I thought we already explained that in a different probably, video. But it has been so awesome. Now that we have the baby and we actually use all the stuff in here. I would love to do like an updated what we used kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, show them her shadow box. That's been updated. That's been added. Shadow box. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Okay, so in, let me explain the shadow box. So in the shadow box, this was my favorite onesie on her when we brought her home in it. I remember the night she grew out of it and I just about cried. It's a picture of her when she was in the hospital the first night we had her. This is her little blood pressure cuff. That's a 
ultrasound from when she was 10 weeks. That's a hat that my mom had made for her. Mine and Robbie's wristband, her umbilical cord clip, her wristband, and the little card that they had on her crib or her bassinet whenever she was in the hospital. So, so good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. And then her closet. So we actually added another bookshelf here for more books because she had so many books I was afraid that those shelves were gonna fall off the wall. Um, she still has a ton of clothes, but since the last room tour of this room, we've had to put clothes up. Also a very sad day in this household. Cried then too. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what this has become. It's just her closet and her little... But yes, that's the updated Avery room tour. We love this room. We spend obviously a ton of time in this room. And it's... I think it's... I keep saying this, but I think this is probably the, my favorite room in the yeah. house. As you can see, the wall matches the valance. We have gotten so much use out of the boards that we used to do this wall. I would hope so. We spent a decent chunk of... Yeah, that was a big deal, but... We've used it for the balance, we've used it for the background, for videos. Say hello, say good morning, good morning. My name is Avery Madeline. And then, yes. So, I think that concludes our home tour. You wanna say goodbye? You wanna tell them goodbye? Say goodbye, say bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my. Thank you guys so much for watching our updated home tour. We love you guys. We thank you for always supporting any kind of video that we make. Don't forget to check out Mapiful. I'll have their information down below. But until next time, we love you all and God bless you.